Hello friends, I'm going to show you how to quickly access the Talking Points app. I'm going to go Talking Points, if you don't happen to know what the address is. And the address is going to be talkingpts.org. So I'll click on that. Just Googled it to make it easy. And I want to go into Login. And the first time you log in, it's going to ask you to create an account. You'll be asked to click on Google or another option. Please click on, on the Google sign in because that'll use your school account to make sure it's connected and that connects to your email as well. Once you're in here, you can create a class for yourself. So right now I've got a couple of classes set up. Let's say I'm going to create a new class today. Click on add class. And I'm going to say class name is grade three or grade four DL for distance learning. I'm going to create that now. Bubble. Now within this, I can add some students. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. I'm just going to show you the easiest way that I use, which is adding contacts manually. This is really great because this, the students and their families won't actually have to have the Talking Points app on their phone in order to get messages. As long as they have a texting number, then they can use this. So I'm going to add in a new student here, adding in my daughter, and I'm going to add her father her home language, so I'm going to put in Japanese here. I just typed the letter J and it brought me to Japanese. You can type any first letter of a language and it should show up for you. And then I'm going to go, I'm just putting in a fake number there, 555-1234. I'm going to say add. Ba -bum. She now appears there and I can go ahead and add more students, as many students as I want, and add in their languages as well. And then when I want to send a message, I'm going to go click on send a message, I can click my recipients. Now I can send it to my ESL class, my grade two DL class, my grade four DL class. Today I'm going to send it to my ESL class. There we go, click there and click off of it. I'm gonna write a message, there is a math test tomorrow. And then I can either schedule send, ba -bum, and that'll send it for another time in the future. So if I want to send it, say, on Friday, or if I want to send it on Monday, so that Tuesday's the test, let's say, and I can say, yep, I'll schedule it for that. Ba -bum. Or if I wanted to send a message and send it right away, I could do the same thing. So I'm selecting my ESL group. I'm saying there is a oops, math test next week. Please study. And then I'm going to send that one today because it's for next Tuesday. Ba -bum. And that has now sent them a message to their individual uh, cell phones on their text. But what's kind of cool is that when they get receive a message on their texting side, it actually comes with an area code of 951. So they're not getting it sent from my personal cell phone number. Parents and guardians are not going to get my personal information because I don't want them having necessarily my, my personal cell phone or texting number. I want them to be communicating with me through the Talking Points app only. And this way, if we use the Talking Points um, either on the Chromebook or you can download the app yourself onto a phone or onto an iPad, this way, the only information they see is this texting number that is not actually your personal texting number. It's just one used, created by the application. Please let me know how it goes. And if you have questions, you can contact me, kiniko underscore shibata at wrdsb.ca.